guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Rachel, that's Kelsey, and today we're gonna talk about Curtis Blade. Kurtz! He's in the main event for the next UFC fight night, which is this Saturday. Unfortunately, he is also, I mean, that main event is at the same time as Tyson Jones Jr. Well, it's only... <laughs> or about, like, the cards, the main cards of both of those things are right around the same time. So... I'm just as a fan of both You won't sports, be able to watch it. Is what I'm you're not saying. super excited about that. About but, it being on at the same time. Yeah, because this is a good fight. Curtis Blades versus Derek Lewis. They're both ranked in the top three or four of the heavyweight division. Both clearly great UFC heavyweight contenders. Can't wait to see this fight. But I got to talk to Curtis Blades this week. And man, what a fascinating individual he is. And he had a lot of interesting things to say. Well, what I read your piece, and we'll link it in the show Thanks, notes. Thanks, Rachel. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I liked. Apparently, some months back, Dana White was asked uh, after Curtis Blade's last fight what he thought. And he was, you know, as Dana White, he just said exactly what was on his mind. And it was kind of, it could be perceived as pretty harsh. And so yeah, yeah. Kelsey asked him, like, hey, what are your thoughts about that now? Has it? How long has it been? Five months? About five months, yeah. Yeah. And I really liked his response to that. He said, it is what it is. And then he said, you know what? He's right. And, yeah. but he also put out there that he, Dana White, he recognized this about Dana White, that he says what's on his mind. He's, and even. And he didn't take it personally. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, he didn't explicitly say this, but what the sense I got is that Curtis Blades will. He accepted the little bit of truth of what Dana White was saying. Yeah. And the rest of it, which was maybe how Dana said it, maybe inflammatory. Anyway, yeah. he discarded all that because it didn't matter Just to let him. it go, yeah. And he said, it is what it is. He's right about that. But at the same time, he also was completely and authentically himself. Curtis Blade said, like, look, if I was in the situation again in the fifth round against... Alexander Volkov and I'm tired, I would do the same thing because I'm trying to win the fight. Over any everything else, I need to win the fight, and that's what he did. Yeah. I love that too. Yeah, and then he but he also said that he he learned and he grew from that experience. And he agreed. Hey, he could have been better conditioned, he could have handled that last round, or could have been better prepared. But he I think he said going into the fight. You know, he doesn't he doesn't have a crystal ball. He doesn't know exactly how fights are going to unfold. You know, so it could have gone, you know, if he was going to script it, it might have gone differently. Yeah. But, and then so he took that and he learned and he can move on. And what I liked, this line that he said, hey, and it's best to learn like when you win the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the best way to learn is what he said. I just thought that was markedly different when it seems to me that a lot of what I run into is people just taking everything so personal. Yeah, you know? and he didn't. Even like... And that, Even from strangers, you know? Like there's people out there on Twitter and all this stuff and you throw politics in there and everybody's ooh. taking everything like so personal and like, they don't even know everybody, <laughs> yeah. you know? Oh. And here they know each other. They work together, you know? Dana's his boss and UFC is, is a community, right? It's not huge. So they, they've talked, they know each other. But, you know, like he he just accepted Dana White for who he is. And even just accepted himself. And yeah. he's not looking for your approval, people. He's not looking for my <laughs> approval. He's exactly, looking yeah, he to win fights. And he's looking to make money. Yeah. And I love that because that's exactly, absolutely, he is ordered to the best thing for his career, which is winning fights and making money. Yeah. Um, and I really like talking to him. I enjoy talking to almost every UFC fighter or professional boxer that I get to talk to. Um, but this one, it was I was especially fascinated with his mindset and just how he goes through life. So I was really grateful to talk to him. I, I call am. him Kurtz, but I call everybody whose name's Curtis Kurtz okay. for short. So it's no special name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many Curtises do you know? Well, it reminded me who's the guy that played for the Seattle Seahawks? Curtis <laughs> Warner. Kurtz. Kurt <laughs> Warner. Is his name Curtis? No. His name's Kurt Warner. There was I think there was a Curtis Warner too. But he didn't play for the don't Seahawks. Don't put me on the spot. This is just like a, a like What's just a, a whole bunch of misinformation. How about Curtis Jackson, aka Fifty Cent, who I call Fitty, who I also call Kurtz. And Kelsey's actually actually met Fifty Cent twice. So in Kelsey's like <laughs> boxing combat sports career of people he's interviewed, is that the most famous person that, that I've talked to? Well, not 
here's what I'm going to say. That person is the one, our friends, family, uh, yeah, we're yeah. all like, what? You well, met this person. Kelsey has, you know, he talked to Julio Cesar, Cesar Chavez Jr. You've talked to George Foreman. You've talked to... Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Talked to Canelo Alvarez. Oscar De La Hoya. Like, I'm just listening. These are all names that all us, you know, best fight friends, big deal. John Jones. But when he talked to 50 Cent... 50. Like, everybody we knew was just so, like... That is true. It blew up. Yeah. <laughs> and yet, the most important person in my life is me. What? What the? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we know that we're also most important in your life, so... We are. Uh, if we are most important in your life, you're obviously already subscribed. And hey, if you're not subscribed, you don't have to tell us. Just go ahead yeah, and subscribe. Yeah, because it will hurt our feelings. Nobody will know the <laughs> difference. Just just subscribe now. It'll oh, be okay. Oh, I'll know. No. <laughs> I, made it, I made it weird.